In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a website in 10 minutes. We need to find a platform to host our website. I'll show you how to set up Namecheap hosting with a domain and install WordPress. I'll drop my affiliate link in the description box. When you click on it, you're going to end up on this page. Depending on the date you'll be watching this video, prices might change. Get started. On this page, as you can tell, my total amount is $24.02. If you have existing domain name, you can click on it and sign in, then proceed from there. But in this tutorial, I'll use new domain name. Scroll down and type the domain name that you want. In this case, I'll type in success link and let's see if it's available that domain name is taken i'm gonna try another name finally i got successlinkage.com because i want a .com domain and trust me it's not easy finding a domain name with .com i'll click connect to hosting and the price will increase because i didn't go with the .xyz and all these weird top domain names billing cycle gonna be every year click add to cart but if you wanted to auto renew each year it's gonna direct you to this page and you have to give it a username password confirm password first name last name is a mix your password with special characters and numbers use a good email address that you have access to all the time please don't use fake email address check when you are done click create account and continue i'm gonna sign in and we'll continue for security reasons you might get a verification code through your email address just check the email enter the code and click on submit enter your payment method we have two payment methods credit card or debit credit and the paypal option it's up to you scroll down don't touch anything here save the configuration above to my default payment settings that's if you want that but if not leave it the way it is and click continue click on approve terms be redirecting your order when the purchase process is done hover on your username and then click dashboard when you scroll down right here i'm going to show you how to install wordpress on this domain i'll go to manage on the same domain then click on hosting then click go to c panel click subtaculous apps installer install wordpress protocol select the https let me show you on my website when i double click then click on this site information you can tell it says connection is secure click here see your information for example password or credit card numbers is private when it is sent to this site certificate is valid this is why you need it make sure even though it says certificate was not found later it will not be active check if there is a latest version then you go with that as far as 6.4.3 is the latest you're gonna keep that site name you can change it to the name you have here success linkage in your case your domain name might be different but in my case it's gonna be success linkage then what the site is all about is what you're gonna type here i'll leave it it's just for tutorials your admin username your admin password and email address select language in my case i will select english by default then right here you have a limit login attempt you can leave this the way it is but sometimes it might be a problem as well because let's say you try three times and you are not getting it they're gonna block you i'm gonna take it off and i'm gonna scroll down All right then before you click install add the email installation details here i'll use the same email address i use for this name chip account click install it's installing it's successfully installed i'm gonna click here to go on the website right click and open in the new tab bam this is the website when you double click and you go here you can tell connection is secured when you click certify is valid next if you want to go to your admin save this or copy this link and save it somewhere this is the link you're gonna use to access your site wordpress is installed i'll show you how to install a plugin and a theme template hover over to plugins and click on add new plugins i'll right click open in a new tab i can come back here whenever i want and i'll type in starter template and this is it click install and activate it's activating right now you have ai website builder and classic starter templates i'll go with the classic click on build with templates 
on this page you have three builders the block editor elementor and beaver i'll go with elementor scroll down you have a bunch of templates here that you can select from look through and select one that suits your business you can check the subtitles like you have business local business personal care and the list goes on you can hover to this direction too like e-commerce so let me go to blog with blogger i'll click on this to preview this is it yeah it looks nice i'll go with it for now but if you don't like what you see here click on back and you're gonna go back but if you like it you're gonna click continue but first you need to upload a logo i'll upload the logo click upload file here select files this is it click on it and open i have optimized it for seo but with logos i don't think it's necessary select i have my logo here now it's too big i'll reduce the size i think 50 for now i'll leave it like that you can change the font click here and type in whatever you want you can i like Montserrat. then click continue tell us a little bit about yourself your first name your work email and stuff like that but i don't want to go through that i'll just skip it you can do that later on and make sure everything is checked here you can uncheck this share non-sensitive data let's have on the question sign and see help our developers build better templates and product for you by sharing anonymous and non-sensitive data i'll check it off but hey you can leave it if you want but right now submit and build my website is building the website congratulations your website is ready and it takes just 38 seconds to build view website this is it you can change the theme or the templates whenever you feel like to edit your site you can go up here hover on edit with elementor and click on site settings as you can tell the logo is covering the the site name click on it close this and close this for instance i will change this name click on it and inside the box i light and type the name of your website this is too big i'm gonna have to reduce the size click on style typography and size reduce it i'll reduce to 36 yeah i'll keep it at 36 and this one as well click on it click on it and highlight now say it is possible and i'll go to style typography and i'll reduce you can use the arrow here but i'll reduce at least 16 you can use the arrow as well and that's it to edit the image click right click and go to edit container style and then change the image hover over it and click change image upload select on the file and open i'm gonna optimize it for seo first. up here it says just digital which isn't enough digital products and right here products then click on select this is it and i'll minimize it just so you can see all right i'll work i'll show you how to delete stuff that you don't need like this and that for instance and including the let me just uh, minimize it and i can click on it right click and delete right here i can click on it and just typography i'll reduce the size to let's say 16 or better still i can right click and delete it completely on the button you can click on it and go to style let's say you want to link to a specific page you just have to delete this and just copy and paste the link here but i'll leave it just the way it is or actually i'll delete it because i want people to stay on my page i don't want to redirect and to change this just click on it and just like i show you how to change the image here change it and to add text or change the subtitle just click on it go inside the text box highlight it let's say website design products products stuff like that and if you want to change the test click on it highlight it's gonna check the box meaning this is what you're gonna be working on and if you want to add another section here click on the plus sign and this box will shift down click on it and you want grid and let's say you want a box like this see you have this here and you can drag and drop either a text like a heading drop it here double click go to style and center now if you want to add an image click on the second one i like the fact that it gives you two boxes drag and drop the image box here 
and let's say go to change and just uh, add whatever you want let's say for instance i'll add this for the sake of this tutorial click here and go to the top and you see the menu up here edit container click on it and the row and just push it up yep that's how you work it when all is done it's down here at the bottom click on update that's how you publish it then hover on the eye which is preview pages click on it thanks for your time don't forget to comment and subscribe to this channel